Hi, Speed Rolls. It's Joe Fury, the Storm Team Age Weather Center. Our start of November, really a little bit more like the start of December in terms of, well, first the higher elevations with accumulating snow on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, well, we started out with a hard freeze and heavy frost that was out there and probably a pretty good frost to greet you on Friday morning as well. And the temperatures uh, that uh, stayed in the 40s for highs on Thursday, which again is a little more in line with, with early December. Uh, so now it's time to warm it up. And now we're going to get temperatures back uh, where they should be in the 50s. And, and even 60 we can do over the course of the weekend. So the first weekend of November, going great. Yeah, you know, taking the middle of the road now. Remember, last Saturday was in the 80s and middle of summer. And then it was in the 40s and raining all day on Sunday. So now we're going to do 60. Uh, we'll have clouds, some sun, and uh, probably more clouds on Saturday, more sun on Sunday. But the bottom line is, if you're 60 and some sun is out in November, you're doing great. And then Monday should be fine. Uh, election Day may have a little rain going by, especially in the morning, uh, midday, but uh, shouldn't be a washout. And uh, down the road, as we take it right through the middle of November, there doesn't appear to be anything overly concerning about the first half of November. Uh, you'll have uh, little cool shots, milder shots, little shots of rain coming by. Uh, but at the moment, uh, no major storms and uh, no major, you know, snow or ice situations to deal with. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, for now, yeah, ice would be um, uh, the case early tomorrow in terms of the frost. Now, some of us, we had the back deck that was uh, icy this morning and uh, there was ice on the car because of the rain yesterday. Uh, so the, the icy surfaces and so forth, not as uh, big as they were this morning, uh, but the frost is there for you. So make sure you get the ice scraper ready to go. 20s uh, to low and mid 30s. Uh, so yes, we're talking 50s. Uh, we stayed in the 40s on, on Thursday. Friday's going to be in the 50s. Sunshine right where it should be. We're doing great uh, for Friday. Fantastic day. And of course, keep in mind the sun doesn't come up to like 726 Friday morning. So watch the kids, especially the older ones at the bus stop. Very dark early, and the sun will go down around 5.41 tomorrow. Uh, yes, it'll all change. We'll gain some daylight in the morning uh, next week, and we'll, we'll uh, lose it in a hurry in the afternoon as we set the clocks back. If some clouds roll in Friday evening. Temperature in the 40s and 50s, and well, 40s to around 50 to start your Saturday. A lot of clouds around Saturday. Highs up near 60. That's fine, even if the clouds win over the sunshine. And then the sun probably wins out over the clouds on Sunday. Again, right back near 60. Monday looks fantastic, feels good too. And then there's a Tuesday, my feel for the umbrella in the morning as the rain rolls by and then hopefully it clears out later in the afternoon. So, yes, this weekend, the clocks go back one hour when you head to bed. Saturday night, don't forget to do that with the sunrise Sunday morning at 629. The sunset, though, is 441. Another clear and calm and cold and frosty night. 20s inland and 30s at the coast. Plenty of sunshine, more seasonable. Highs in the mid 50s, right where it should be uh, for the day on Friday. And then the eight day forecast up around 60 for the weekend with overall we'll call it a mix of clouds and sunshine. More clouds Saturday, more sun Sunday. We're doing great. And uh, well, right up back near 60 on Monday too. And maybe some showers around on Tuesday. Then it turns a little cooler after that again. We'll have to watch another storm around Thursday, Friday next week. Uh, so for now, uh, if the sun is out in November, that's all we care about. And if we get those temperatures up through the 50s towards 60, that's going to feel pretty good. All right. Uh, we're going to keep you updated with everything you need to know. First thing Friday morning with Good Morning Connecticut. The Gill and the gang will be here. So tune on in. Uh, for now, I hope you're feeling well. Bye.